This video is on gain bandwidth product. The condition that we want to describe here is the dropping gain after one pole. So if we look at this Bode plot here, what we have on the x-axis is log frequency, and on the y-axis we have gain in dB. So we have that at frequencies that are below a pole, the gain doesn't change, but at frequencies above that pole, the gain drops at negative 20 dB per decade. So a couple of definitions. Let us define the zero frequency gain in, uh, in the variable. When we put zero here, we're referring to what we're going to call the zero frequency gain. Of course, frequency cannot be zero, but what we mean by that is very low frequency gain. And in this graph, then, it refers to the very low frequency region in this gain here. The other definition is the bandwidth pole. The bandwidth pole is basically the location of the, uh, of the pole. And at that location, uh, we're going to have negative 3 dB of drop. And above that location, the gain drops negative 20 dB per decade. And below that location, the gain is pretty much constant. So uh, here's the gain bandwidth product. The gain bandwidth product, by definition, is the product of the gain and frequency at frequencies greater than the bandwidth pole. So when we look at this graph here, what we're referring to is basically this region. This is the region that for which um, we apply the gain bandwidth product definition. So past this pole, we know that the gain drops at a rate of negative 20 dB per decade. That means that the gain drops by a factor of 10 as the frequency increases by a factor of 10. So it falls linearly. Uh, so when we go back to the gain bandwidth product, and let me uh, remove my previous markers, when we go back to the gain bandwidth product, uh, we're saying that the gain drops by a factor of 10 as the frequency increases by a factor of 10, which is the same factor. So in the gain bandwidth product, then the gain bandwidth product across the, that frequency range, and I'll specify it here again, basically at frequencies greater than that bandwidth pole, the gain bandwidth product is constant. What does that mean? Well, if we want to get the gain at the bandwidth pole here, the gain bandwidth product rather, at the band, uh, around the bandwidth pole here, the gain is basically the very low frequency gain, and that's what we have here, and then the frequency is the bandwidth location. Uh, that gain bandwidth product is going to be equal to the gain bandwidth product at the unity gain frequency, and that's what we're referring to by F0 dB. 0 dB is the uh, gain of 1, so F0 dB is the unity gain frequency. So the gain bandwidth product at that frequency is the unity gain frequency and the gain of 1, and that's what we have here. And this is a very powerful conclusion here because what we're saying is that the gain bandwidth product is equal to the unity gain frequency. And this is very useful because now we can project the unity gain frequency whenever we know the very low frequency gain of the circuit as well as the bandwidth product. This is very useful in negative feedback circuits for two reasons. One is for stabilization because we need to know where the unity gain frequency is uh, to make sure that the con our stability criteria uh, meets all the conditions for uh, stabilization. And the other one is because it gives us a sense of the speed of the circuit, how fast it, it can be. Uh, word of caution though, this gain bandwidth product conclusion only applies when we have one pole. So what we see here is basically only one 
pole. And if we have one pole, then we drop at negative 20 dB per decade. And if that is the case, then the gain bandwidth product is constant. Thank you for watching.